All right, guys, welcome to another Choke Product Showcase. This is a part where we actually introduce our latest uh, innovations and things that we're bringing on the scene. And what we have before you today is not the latest innovation, but it's been around for a little bit, but there has been some design changes on it. This is what is known as our second-gen valve covers. Uh, this is for the 6.4-liter six guys. And this addresses a major issue with those engines. <clears throat> the uh, big failure that the 6.4 liters have is the rocker arm failures due to the lack of oiling. And the reason for the lack of oiling is because the predecessor engine of the 6.0 uh, was a Huey injection system. And the Huey injection system, after it would fire, would lubricate the rocker assembly. When the 6.4 came out, it actually was a high-pressure common rail. And the high-pressure common rail no longer had that oil supply that was ejected from the injector. Um, now that this is no longer there, we lead to starvation of the rocker arms, which once they wear out, uh, they can fail. They can lead to a broken rocker arm. They can actually cause too much preload, um, or excuse me, too much um, uh, slop in the, uh, the valve train. And if this does occur, it can also lead to lifter failure. And the lifter failure can actually cause for camshaft failure. And the camshaft failure can actually cause for total engine failure. Uh, this is extremely expensive uh, to buy a new engine. It can cost you ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, and uh, that's something that can be uh, diverted. And these valve covers are actually uh, multiple. Uh, there's multiple benefits to the valve cover, and I want to kind of go over some of those things with you today. So the Gen Two, the Gen One, basically had an oil rail system in the back of the valve cover, and um, what would happen is, is uh, oil would be fed through it and it would just lubricate the rocker arms. <clears throat> but one thing that we were running into issues with is it was extremely time uh, uh, taxing to be able to uh, install this, this system, but we wanted something that would integrate into the valve cover itself. Uh, this ensures that once these valve covers are bolted to the, uh, to the engine, that the jets will always be in the right location. Um, and trying to uh, set that datum was always, uh, was always very taxing to do. Um, but there are some dual applications. So I'm going to turn this valve cover around for you and kind of let you see what that looks like. Hopefully that, that shows up good. So what we have is uh, a spray jet for each individual rocker arm. Uh, it's fed by an orifice uh, fitting right here that will go into this, uh, to this elbow. What that does is that regulates how much oil pressure uh, so coming off from the oil cooler supply to the turbocharger, it's a very small amount of oil that runs through a, uh, a restrictor or an orifice here. And that orifice actually goes into these jets, and it's a machined galley that runs all the way through the valve cover, as you can see. Now that does dual purposes. One is we noticed that after we began to put oil on top of the valve cover, <clears throat> uh, or excuse me, through the valve cover on top of the rocker arms, uh, what that would do is that would muffle the engine down about 10 decibels at idle, which is pretty drastic. Um, it's a huge audible difference. You can definitely tell when one of our valve covers are on uh, any engine without popping the hood, just because of how much quieter it is. Uh, the second thing uh, is obviously that it uh, eliminates the issue that they had from the factory of the rocker arm failure, which can prevent engine damage. The third thing that this actually does is it provides, because it runs through the valve cover itself now on the second gens, now note this is only on the second gens, and that's the only ones that, uh, we've been making second gens for uh, a few months now, um, but what this does is this oil galley that's actually running all the way through, it provides a heat sink to the rest of the valve cover. So we're actually seeing oil temperatures drop five to six degrees uh, from this uh, valve cover itself. So you're, you're basically adding another oil cooler to your engine. Um, now, it's not going to do the full job of an oil cooler itself, obviously. Uh, you couldn't delete that, but it does drop the oil temperatures 5 to 6 degrees on the second-gen models. Also, on top of that, there uh, now there's a uh, different valve cover for the driver's side that has the oil fill. This is uh, the cap that goes on that, which comes with a blow-by gauge so that you can read current case pressures as well. So these are some of the things that we've been up to. Uh, it's, it's a huge uh, benefit for any 6.4 liter owner because uh, it can save you a tremendous amount of money. Not only do they, they look great, um, and it's a beautiful piece to add to your engine, but it's extremely functional. Um, so these are, these are some things we've been working on. If you've got any questions, there's a link below. And uh, just get in contact with us, chokeperformance.com. You can uh, go like us on Facebook and Instagram and uh, check us out. Thanks, guys.